Inside ZBrush, there's many different powerful reasons why you would use masking. You can use masking to isolate pieces of your geometry for sculpting reasons or texturing reasons. In this video, I simply want to show you how to paint a mask, clear a mask, and invert that mask. In further, more advanced videos, we're going to see how we can mask by ambient occlusion, how masking can be used for transpose, and even inside the plugin Decimation Master. So the first thing to do to actually draw a mask on your model is simply hold the control key. By holding down the control key, I can now paint a mask on the surface. At this point, my RGB intensity is set to 100%, so this newly masked area cannot be affected in any way. Right now, by default, I have the standard brush, so I can simply move over this surface, and you could see that the masked area is not being affected. I'll hit Control z to undo that. So let's say I want to clear this mask now. To clear a mask, all you need to do is hold down the Control key and then click and drag in an empty area for your canvas. You'll see that that mask has now been cleared. So Control to simply paint a mask. Control click drag in an empty area to clear that mask. Often you'll also be inverting a mask. So for instance, I can hold control and paint just this area of the model. And then while holding control, click in an empty area of the canvas. And that will invert the mask. That way this is the only portion that I'll be able to sculpt or texture on. Again, I'll hold Control, click, drag in the canvas to clear that mask. So far, you've been watching me actually paint a mask on the surface by using the standard brush and the standard dot stroke. You can actually also switch your stroke type and your alpha type. So I'll switch over to the drag rectangle, and I'll choose a new alpha. That way, by holding Control, I can click and drag on the surface and draw out a mask. I'll then switch back to no alpha and turn back to dot stroke. Hold control, tap in the canvas, that way I can invert the mask, and then you can see that I can just paint in this area that was unmasked. Simply hold control, click and drag in the canvas to clear that mask. Now if I switch my alpha type, so for instance I'll switch back to that alpha 08 that I used, without using the drag rectangle but simply the dot stroke, I can start the masking process from outside the model. So what I'll do is hold the control key, click and drag from outside the model so I can draw this mask pretty much anywhere over the length of the model that I want. Then I'll let go and then my mask has been applied. Hold control, tap the canvas to invert while holding control click and drag in the canvas to remove that mask you should also take note of the masking sub menu located in the tool palette so I have my tool palette docked over on the right hand side and I'll just scroll down to where it says masking you can see that there's many different options available in the masking sub palette. We'll talk about many of these more advanced options in later videos, like mask by intensity or cavity masking. But for right now, some important options here are blur and sharpen mask. So what I'm going to do is actually paint a mask on the surface. I'll turn my alpha off again, hold the control key, and just paint a mask across the model. Now, if I want, I can sharpen this mask by clicking Sharpen Mask. And you can see we get a very sharp line at the edge of that mask. Or simply click Blur yeah. Mask to blur that mask. You can also clear Mask All and Inverse here in the Masking sub-palette, but we already talked about those keyboard shortcuts and how to do that in the canvas. To sharpen and blur your mask in the canvas, all you have to do is simply hold the control key and tap 
to blur the mask, or hold Ctrl and Alt and tap on your model to sharpen the mask. I'll let go of Alt while holding Ctrl, click on the model, and you can see I start to blur my mask again. 